I just want to run for my life. Okay, here we go. Five floors down. My Airbnb hostess gave me this. I didn't expect it to be a homilo that is not cut yet, so I'm hesitating whether I should bring this with me. Tonight will be my final night in Vietnam. I wanted to go to Ning Bing today, but I decided to stay in Hanoi just to revisit places that I would definitely miss once I leave. I went to the wrong direction. This is the toilet. I had a hard time deciding which cafe to go to today, thinking I wouldn't be able to have the privilege to just sit and enjoy my main character mouse moment after today. But one thing for sure, I want my egg coffee. My egg coffee is here, so pretty. It is actually not as good as the ones that I had. A little bit disappointed, but it is very pretty. The next time I come to Hanoi, I want to stay one month here and just go to cafes every day. I'll be a really happy person. Only if I could understand the book, only if they are selling food, I would have spent more time here. Not sure if I'm too late for breakfast, but I've been wondering. I have been walking into these cafes feeling super hungry, but I could only get coffee each time. I'm leaving this cafe because they are not selling any food and I'm very hungry right now. I walked past the shop just now. They were selling Bing Mi. I just want to really try Bing Mi for one last time before my flight. Seeing this reminds me of the sandwiches from Subway. And it is good to see Auntie is handling food with plastic gloves. Except for the fact that she was holding money with the same gloves. No! You can see it. I can see it. That is how you enjoy food. Period. Auntie also decided to feed me more food, like my late grandma. So she asked this gentleman to sell me her dessert. What is the name of the fruit? The body. Chai. 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 I tried to have him help me search it on Google so I know exactly what it is, but I don't have the Vietnamese keyboard. Um, so... I mean, I would have bought it regardless because it looks interesting. The white part tastes like tofu hua, tofu pudding, but the other colors, I'm not too sure. If you know, as usual, let me know in the comments. There is one more hour till my check-in time. I think I want to go get my nails done. I walked past this fruit vendor this morning when I checked out of my Airbnb and hesitated buying some fruits even though I really really want to. Because firstly, I don't have a knife and I don't plan to smuggle this through the customs. But I thought to myself, it's now or never. I want some rambutans too, but this is too much. Thank you. I've put my fruits in the fridge in my hotel. Now I'm on my way for my Vietnamese massage! Let me just quickly check if I have enough money because I don't want to embarrass myself. It happened last time. You have Vietnamese massage? No. Uh, yes. This one? Yeah, this is massage. Yeah. It turned out this guy has lived in Malaysia for many years and that is how he picked up English. And it's really nice talking to him and being able to communicate with him. Like Vietnamese food? Yeah, it's very similar to Malaysian Chinese food. Yes, yes. I can eat dal, I can eat roti chai, but I, I also love the cinema. Oh, I was given a shot, only a shot. Gosh, I'm gonna change. One hour went by so quickly. I'm back at my hotel. It is already 9. I just had the worst grab ride ever. I knew it was a red flag when the driver didn't want me to book through the grab app. I can either book it on the grab app and then my rider will come or I can just approach the driver and ask them to key in the code on their phone. But when I show him the screen, I asked for the code. He didn't want to key in the code for me and during the entire ride, we got hung for a few times. There were a few times my life just flashed. He wanted to have a coffee date with me. He wanted to take me out for dinner or something. And then he asked me if I'm single and he told me he is single even though I didn't ask. Maybe I did the wrong thing by asking him his age. I was just trying to be polite. I think a conversation should be two ways. There were parts where I don't really understand him and then he was using Google Translate while riding the bike. So he was driving really recklessly and he wanted to take me on a longer route to show me around Hanoi which I disagreed to. So the takeaway from this story is that ladies and gentlemen don't get into a car or a bike without booking it officially through the app. Stay safe. I don't know what in my mind agreed to this but 
I think it was my reflex reaction because initially he wanted a much higher price and I disagreed repeatedly until he asked me what's the price in the Grab app. Second reflex, which I overlook. How can you not know the price? I told him the price and then he agreed. That is why my natural reflex reaction is okay, which is really dumb. So please don't be like me. I don't think that maybe he wasn't even a Grab driver, but he was wearing a Grab helmet. I thought of taking a picture of his number plate, but I just want to run for my life when I got down from his bike. Alright, anyways, we are doing a fruit mukbang. <laughs> I got some longan, go some papaya and mango. As I said, I don't have a knife. I asked the street vendor to cut it for me. I was like, and then she spoke Vietnamese to me, and I was like, oh, yes, yes, yes. <gasps> Why am I always so clumsy? Mm. My jeans now have papaya and mango water. I put my plastic bag too close to the edge. Guess who just had a rock and roll concert in the toilet? But it was worth it. My flight back to Japan is today and I really hate to leave this place. I'll be leaving this in the hotel room. Goodbye dear flower, I hope you can make someone else happy today. I'm gonna let you go, I'm so sorry. Before my flight, I wanted my body to be blessed with a good bowl of pho. I wasn't yeah. intending to come to the same place as I did, but I woke up too late to make it to the other recommended pho places. I really regret it right now, but better late than never. I then did some last minute souvenir shopping. If y'all didn't know, Vietnam has one of the best coffees in the world. So I got some coffees and Vietnamese film filters for my parents and my professors. <laughs> Very different. Yeah, it's different. Nutty smell. Nutty smell? Yeah. And then you use it and press a little bit. You can add a sugar or condensed milk. I've always avoided convenience stores due to the weekend crowd, but how can I leave Vietnam without properly visiting their convenience store? So I just look around and grab some stuffs. As the clock is ticking, I ran to my favorite dessert shop even though I felt so full from my late lunch. Bought this because I think fermented milk is very interesting, but it tastes like Yakult. I wanted to try something different this time. I asked for recommendations and he recommended me mango sago at first. And I told him I have already tried it, so he recommended me this says non lanet, which translates to young coconut with sticky leaves. And again, I was speaking English and he was speaking Vietnamese the whole time, but we managed to communicate, which is interesting. I made it just in time back to my hotel to hop on the cab to the airport. I really thought I couldn't make it because I felt so nauseous after eating too much in a short period of time. I'm flying to Saigon for a layover since it was cheaper that way, but I 100% do not recommend. I'm not sure how other airline companies work, but for my case, I need to go through all the airport hassle all over again. I've been waiting for more than half an hour. <gasps> my back! I almost missed my connecting flight back to Japan. Airports in Vietnam are small and super crowded, so things just get really congested and I just made it in time, despite having 3 hours in between. Finally, everything settled down, but I was hungry. I guess I just need to really finish all these fruits since I'm prohibited to bring them into Japan. I ate so much longan that now I can peel it using just one hand. I safely landed at Narita airport and it just feels nice to have someone waiting for me at the airport after being alone in a foreign land for almost two weeks. I hope you like my Alone in Vietnam series and I'll see you again. Thank you for watching, thank you for your love and support and...